All right, welcome to another episode of the Arizona Timeless Tours. I am back in the Globe Cemetery. This is my third trip to this cemetery up here in Globe, Arizona. Why am I here? I'm here for this plot right here, which is next to this grave right here. Now, I've done a TikTok and a YouTube video on this grave site right here, and we're going to talk about this because these two guys are linked up. Stay tuned for this episode of the Arizona Timeless Tours. So who was buried in this plot here in Globe, Arizona, and why did I come all the way up here? Well, his name was Elliot Ferguson. Now, we're not exactly 100% sure on where Elliot Ferguson was born. He was either born in Louisiana or he was born in Texas in 1852. 1874, we find Elliot Ferguson working for the Frontier Company of the Texas Rangers. Now, something happens between 1874 and 1878 because in 1878, he is now wanted for a crime that was committed in Goliad, Texas. So after leaving Texas, the first thing he does is he changes his name to Pete Spence. He ends up in Southern Arizona, comes friends with a certain family, and this family's name is the Clanton family. And not just friends with the Clanton family, he joins the notorious cowboy gang. So he settles down and buys a house in Tombstone, Arizona. But who are his neighbors in Tombstone? Right across the street from where he's living in that house, there's a family living there. And their last name are the Earps. You can't make it up, right? So in 1880, Pete Spence is arrested for stealing some Mexican mules. That's right, Mexican mules. He's brought in, he's questioned, and they release him because there's not enough evidence for this crime. All right, now as Pete is settled in Tombstone, he is in the mining business. He needs a partner, so he partners up with a guy named Frank Stillwell. They become friends and business partners. Now, the law has their eyes on Pete Spence ever since the Mexican cattle robbery. And uh, every time that something goes wrong, they kind of look over towards Pete Spence. I mean, he is in with the notorious cowboy group. He's, he's friends with the Clanton family. So there's a lot of reasons to keep their eyes on Pete. So in 1881, a stagecoach is robbed close to Bisbee, Arizona. Who are the two main suspects? You might have guessed it. One is Frank Stillwell and his buddy Pete Spence. The sheriff puts out his posse. One of the members of the posse to go round up Frank Stillwell and Pete Spence is none other than Wyatt Earp. Now again, they bring them into Bisbee and they question both Frank and Pete on the stagecoach robbery. And uh, guess what? They don't find enough evidence again and they're let go. Now this ticks off the Cowboys. This ticks off the, the Clanton family. Uh-oh, you know what's coming, right? I think we do. And around Contention City, a stagecoach is robbed who are the likely suspects who should they round up and bring in yes sir frank stillman and pete spence i'm not going to even give you the answer on whether they were charged or not and i'm not going to tell you who was really upset by them coming after these two fellows again and this is the eighth 
of October of 1881, and you can guess what the next big day coming is. A point in history that everybody seems to remember. A small little shootout down in Tombstone, Arizona. And after the shooting with Billy Clanton laying dead, the Clantons are looking for blood. They're looking for vengeance. Well, they're looking for vengeance and they got it on the 18th of March of 1882. Morgan Earp is killed. And now who are the main suspects in this shooting, in this killing in March of 1882? Well, one of them's Frank Stilwell. Who could the other one be? Pete Spence. But there were two other ones. Ike Clanton was the next one, and Finn Clanton was another suspect in the shooting of Morgan Earp. So then starts the famous Wyatt Earp Vendetta ride with Doc Holliday and Warren Earp and some of his other friends. They're going after these cowboys. One of the first individuals they come up upon is Frank Stilwell and they take him out. The next one they're going after, you guessed it, Pete Spence. So they head to Pete Spence's farm. Now they arrive at Pete Spence's farm not knowing that he actually turned himself in to the local sheriff's office. He knew that Wyatt Earp and his gang was, were out for blood. They were out to get him. After Wyatt Earp and his band took care of everybody they needed to take care of, they left out of Arizona. And who survives but Pete Spence? We next find Pete Spence in 1893 in a place that I just can't believe. Where is he found in 1893? Well, he's in New Mexico. What is he doing in New Mexico? He's working as a deputy sheriff. In that same year, Pete pistol whips a prisoner and that prisoner dies. And Pete is sentenced to five years in the Yuma Territorial Prison. But how many years will he serve? He serves only 18 months of a five-year prison sentence in the Yuma Territorial Prison. The governor of the territory of Arizona releases him after 18 months. So after some time later, after he's been released from the Yuma prison, he ends up right here in Globe, Arizona. Now, what's he do? Well, he partners up with an old friend who is buried right here in the Globe Cemetery. This is the grave of Finn Clanton. That's right, the brother of Billy and Ike Clanton. What kind of business do they come together, Finn and Pete? They start a goat ranch. Now, Finn Clanton, Pete's business partner, dies in 1906 and is buried right here behind me in the Globe Cemetery here in Globe, Arizona. And so he keeps, so Pete goes on and four years later, you can't make this up either. Four years later in 1910, his buddy, Pete Spence, marries Finn's wife. That is the story of Elliot Ferguson. And that is the end of this episode of the Arizona Timeless Tours. If you haven't subscribed, I would ask that you would hit that subscribe button. It would be greatly appreciated. And if you would like to help this channel grow and for me to take more adventures, I would ask that you would look at the top right of this YouTube channel and hit the PayPal link and donate whatever you can to help these adventures keep moving forward. Until next time, take care of yourself.